The Sheds is very interesting historically because the Sheds is the only surviving connection with what was known as the Sheds fishing village and it was involved in the, the drying and curing of fish. So the name the Sheds is the only survivor of, uh, of that time. I, I know my grandfather came here in the 20s and from, from the city. I'd come from the Mead Mountain Ball originally and came into Dublin, had a couple of pubs in town in Bolton Street and um, Cable Street, and then came to Clontarf. Fair play to my grandfather over the years. He developed a really good business and it was a small little area in those days and now has become a, a thriving commercial area. I'm sure in those days, Clontarf was sort of in the sticks as regards Dublin. I was way outside Dublin and uh, he showed an awful lot of foresight. There's been a license here since 1834, and this area was known as Cullen's Corner. Cullen ran a very enterprising business here. That business was bought out by Peter Connolly in 1927. He paid in the, uh, the astronomical figure at the time of 7,750. The sheds developed to a very traditional, what the Americans would call a neighborhood bar and that's how it's evolved over the years, over the 90 years. So there's been three generations of Connollys and possibly a fourth one coming in now. Five, six after mass, we used to come in here and that was our Sunday treat. Then we get our, our Coca-Cola and a bag of crisps after doing our jobs. And we, we worked as a lounge boy after that. And then I was doing accountancy and then all of a sudden my dad got sick and we decided I'd come into the business. That was, that's where it all started. So I was probably here since I was five or six years of age. I think we're one of these pubs that sort of is we don't have a, a high at any time of the year. It's sort of all sort of steady. Christmas will always be something special over those two weeks, all right. You can see that at Christmas too, people coming back and going back where they drank all those years ago. The walls of the sheds is a veritable uh, history museum. The walls tell the story of what happened in Clontarf. Uh, there's the great sporting connections. And there's a mural up here of the 17th century fishing village in Clontarf. So that to a very large extent, the social history of the sheds is developed along the walls. In many ways, the sheds is a microcosm of Clontarf life itself, in that what's gone on in, in Clontarf over 172 years is re-echoed uh, through the history of the sheds. I remember, you know, when I was a kid, like, you know, we'd play football in the prom, maybe we'd be sort of 16, 17, you know? and all the lads would sneak in here for a pint. I couldn't come in, because, you know, I'd be no one, so I couldn't do it. But the lads would sneak in, and they could only afford one pint, you know, and that was the way it was. It was where they wanted to be. It was their pub, it was their father's pub, it was their grandfather's pub. And, you know, it's, it's become their kids' pub. We're 90 years here now, and it's, it's amazing to think that a pub, for any, any business can last 90 years, and it's a lot to do with our customers. Fantastic over the years. And our staff, our staff have been here, we have a lot of staff that were here 40, 50 years. Getting to 90 years is a huge thing, a really big thing. It's scary in a way, you know, because it's, it's not just me, it's my, it's my dad, it's my grandfather. It's, it's you know, and, and, and possibly, you know, the next generation as well. It's a really big thing. It's a really, really big thing. And I'm very proud of it, yeah, very proud of it.